In this video, we're going to discuss thermal performance. Buildings consume 40% of the energy used in the developed world, with heating and cooling accounting for approximately two-thirds of this. Government legislation dictates that we need to reduce greenhouse gases through better thermal performance of our building fabrics. It actually says that in the NCC, doesn't it, Gary? If the Section J of the National Construction Code the objective states that this section of the NCC is geared towards reducing greenhouse gases, isn't it? It does, and rightfully so. We need to save our planet. Okay, what are the terms that we look at when we're looking at the, the, the thermal performance of windows? Solar heat gain is the amount of sun that hits the glass and comes through into the building. It's the amount of energy, is it? So it's solar radiation, okay. the sun's rays hitting the glass coming through the window. So we're measuring how much comes into the building. The other term we use is U value, which is the air to air temperature flow of heat. So when it's cold outside and hot inside, how much heat are you losing from the building? In both cases, the lower the number, the better the performance of the window. In this slide, we compare the thermal performance, the solid gain in U value for glass, and the same glass in various framing systems. The first one is in the 650 or 651 six inch frame. Is it, this is the frame, has a cap on the front. The other framing system we use is the structurally glazed frame. As you can see, it's, it's silicon on the front. Okay, if you look at the, the solar heat gain of the glass, once you put it into a frame, it reduces. This is because the sun's rays don't come through a proportion of the frame. Conversely, your aluminium frame can per, uh, performs poorly with relation to UV. It is a good conductor and allows all that heat to escape from the building. So the UV is a higher than the glass. Yeah, I'll have to concede that aluminium is a good conductor, unlike your glass. Yes, glass is a poor conductor. But in a, in a window, the glass is the best performing element. The Section J calculator, every architect should understand this. You should have a play with it. It's a free download from the NCC's website and understand it. And that allows you to make an informed decision rather than just passing it off to a consultant. The data to, to go into this table can be sourced from G James website for the various window framing types and various glass options.